G, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again. Man, we live out here, codingface.com, man. Your boy's back. We're going to talk about Vue.js, man. So what is Vue.js, right? It's uh, basically a framework, you know. It's pretty much a copy of Angular and, you know, some parts of it copying React, right? So pretty much, what can I say about this? Like, <laughs> I feel like I should make a review about this, this framework after, you know, trying it out and, and learning pretty decent amount of content from it. Uh, pretty much I've already put in about five hours into it. And it seems pretty cool. It's, you know, it's not like nothing new, which is, which I think that's my biggest problem with Vue.js right now, that it's not bringing anything new at all. Like, all it did was pretty much say, hey, we're going to take this parts from Angular, and we're going to take this parts from React. Like, I'm not a fan of, you know, putting JavaScript, basically putting too much of the code inside the HTML. I, I'm really not a fan of that. You know why? Because... If I'm working in JavaScript, I don't want to have to learn something else. Like, you know, now I have to learn uh, VBind and doing all this extra shit that makes no fucking sense. Like, for me, as a JavaScript developer, having to learn something else. So, let me see. Where's uh, examples? I'm trying to see. JS examples. Okay, so you see, like, now you're going to have to remember a whole bunch of, basically, uh, properties. Like, you know, VHTML, or, or what the hell is this, value, and what else. Like, there's a lot of shit in there that I feel like, with React, like, once you know JavaScript, like, you're good with React. Like, you could pick up React right away, and, like... You could start making, you know, making something new in like a couple of minutes. It doesn't take that long to understand React if you know JavaScript. But something like this is like, now you're going to have to learn how the framework works. Like, like you know, V4 user, so there's like a for loop. So pretty much it's saying, okay, user and users, right? So it's going to print it out. It uses the same thing, curly brackets of, you know, of Angular. Uh, it uses directives that it took from Angular. And I'm like, I thought we was over with Angular. Like, am I the only one who thought that we was done with, like, Angular stuff? Like, you know, am I the only one that feels like, like that? Like, once we, we got React, it's like, okay, that's like getting clean water for the first time you're not gonna go back to that dirty well you know from africa with the little kid with full of fucking parasites you're not gonna drink water from there right so why the hell are we going back to this type of code and this type of framework like why because uh the people from Laravel decided that they want to support Vue.js and that people now want to follow the trends like like they always do like I don't understand why would I wanna spend more time learning Vue.js like there's literally nothing new that's worth mentioning at all there's nothing new everything else is like okay for us who've been uh, developing for you know as far as front end for the past you know five six years I don't know if you remember two three years ago angular was hot and Angular was pretty much this. You know, you put all your, your code in the HTML tag. Okay, people moved on from that and figured out, you know, hey, the way of React and JSX is better. And yes, you could do JSX in Vue.js or even do the dot .view files, whatever, and use Webpack. But I don't know why, but I, I still feel like, hey, it's like we're going back into time, like... You know, if I want to do something like this, 
Like, why would I choose Vue.js? Like, this ember, there's, um, you know, this angular one, there's fucking, uh, what is it, uh, the back, I forgot, I forgot the other one, the original, but something break back or some shit like that, I don't know, <laughs> I don't remember, but there's like so many fucking frameworks, you know, okay, you got knockout, you got all this other frameworks just for templating, like, why would I want to come back to Vue.js, man? Like, I don't understand, you know. I don't understand why Why even create a framework that is pretty much the same shit that other frameworks have. Like, it's not bringing anything new to the table. Like, I, I don't even know what more to say. Because I, I will say, hey, try it out. Try it out yourself. Play around with it. Uh... But to be honest with you, if you already know uh, React or you already know Angular, there's no need for you to pick up Vue at all. It's not bringing anything new. It's more of a, a framework that's a copy of two good frameworks. So what it did, just copy the best parts of it and put it into one. But now it's like, why would I want to fucking learn Vue if I already know Angular and I already know React? Like... If I want to use something for Angular, I use it for Angular. If not, I just use React. Why would I want to use something that has both of them? I don't know. That's just my, my way of thinking. I, I don't think it's, it's definitely worth you even picking up or, or trying to learn it. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, it's cool. It's reactive. But I'm telling you, it's like, if you already know React or, or Angular, don't waste your time on this, man. Like, I'm being honest. Like, people are going to say, oh, this guy's too negative about, you know, learning new new programming languages and new frameworks. No, I like learning new frameworks. I already learned Vue.js. And I, I put in five hours. And probably, yeah, I could put in more hours into it. But I... Uh, I already know what to do in it. Like, I could come in and create a component if I want to. And, like, you know, even use the router. I already know everything that I need to know from this framework to be productive. So, I could actually give it a, a pretty quick, honest review about it. So, but would I recommend it for somebody? Not really. Uh, if you look at the documentation, it, it's pretty cool. I like... I like the documentation. It's pretty, pretty simple to pick up. Like that's one thing that I was saying. It's super simple to pick up, and I think for a beginner, and maybe instead of learning Angular, like somebody who's brand new, I would say, hey, learn Vue.js, and then after Vue.js, learn React, because it's so much easier. Just to, for you to get your, you know, your feet wet with with the framework, but. As a you know a developer who knows already React and Angular, there's no need to waste your time with this. Like, plus at the same time, it's not a popular framework at all. Like most companies that are hiring, you tell them Vue.js and they're gonna look at you like, like you're crazy. Like, they're gonna be like, hey, this is not tested. This is made by some Chinese guy by himself. Why would we invest into that when we have Facebook and Google putting into React and, and you know, and fucking Angular. Like, that's how, you know, that's how the employer is going to be or your CTO is going to be. So, I don't know. It's up to you guys. But me personally, I would say, hey, there's no need for you to learn React. All right? No, well, not React. Sorry about that. Vue.js at all. All right, guys. You already know. Make sure you subscribe and and you know, give me a like, give me a dislike. I don't care. I just need some love, man. Show me some love or show me some hate. Whatever you want to do in the comments, I answer every single comment. The only YouTuber out here that does tutorials and talk about you know web development that actually answers every single comment. So make sure you leave a comment. Bye.